you some of my Instagram stories looks. Does that sound right? Some of my Instagram stories looks. Something don't sound right. Some of my... I thought I'd bring you some of my Instagram stories. Yeah. Instagram stories looks. Hello to all my butterflies out there. It's been a minute. So welcome back to my channel. To my faithful subscribers. And welcome if you're new. So up here I bring you on Saturdays. Whichever Saturday I choose, honey. I don't know which Saturday it's going to be. Maybe two Saturdays. Might even be three Saturdays. I bring you some of my fashion and style that I be wearing. And then on Sundays is my vlog where I be giving you 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> it seems like on the video it seems like a lot. But trust me, it's about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so... My beautiful butterflies today i thought i would come up here and show you some of my instagram stories looks does that sound right some of my instagram stories looks something don't sound right some of my i thought i'd bring you some of my instagram stories yeah instagram stories looks i just don't know any other way to say it okay so let's start off i got my handy dandy ipad so that i can look at the looks because i don't remember either but these are some looks that i just love putting together on my and i put it on my stories so you may have seen the whole outfit on the post. You may not. You may have only seen part of the outfit. So I thought I'd come up here and just hit the highlights of my outfit. So the first one is this one here, honey. You cannot beat this one. When I tell you, you cannot beat this one. So I had on my fedora, which is from Living Fearless Collection. I had on this blazer. Now the blazer is what I'm about to show you. And don't worry, my shoes is on something um look at this blazer not only is it heavy it's so embroidered that truly truly you have to see it in person to get the beauty of this vintage blazer i mean look at you back in the day we would have called this old woman going to easter sunday church but we now know you can make this look just as up to date as you want to make it and have that vintage beautiful look they don't make it like this no more honey look at it look at the embroidery around this and it is gorgeous in the light do you understand me so the blazer I got from Vintage Lux, because you know I be getting vintage items um, online. Since, look, I'm an avid thrifter. I love thrifting. And when I find a vintage item myself, it is even better than buying it from someone else. But you have to be, you know, I just ain't, my area just don't have it. It just don't have these looks. So that's why sometimes I buy, you know, from vintage retailers not all the time because they got to have their up money right it came with a dress but that dress can't even get up my body i ain't say on my body i said it couldn't get up my body and that's what i mean uh but i wouldn't wear it with a dress because then it's gonna have that old-fashioned look and you know i don't say old grandma look because i don't know what grandma everybody be talking about i keep telling y'all that but it's a dated older look so i would never i would definitely always wear it with some jeans always but this is gorgeous it is one of my top top finds and i did not mind paying the money for it it will never leave my closet and it's gorgeous 
I also wore it with, and I'm not all of these, I'm gonna show you more than one item, but these free people jeans that has the rip in the knees and it's distressed at the bottom. I love these jeans, guys. I made sure I got a big size because I got a big belly. But I love these jeans. And they look so nice. And I just put it with a regular, um, what is those t-shirts? They're not t-shirts. What do they call when they sleeveless? You know what I'm talking about. Regular uh, sleeveless t-shirt. And these shoes. So I am going to show you these. Uh, these are Steve Madden's. I got these like two or no we was in the house for two years i three maybe four years ago and they are holographic is that what it's called when they change colors because they change from purple to green depending on the light and what's so weird depending on what you're wearing this shoe here is nothing but the truth steve madden's they got that uh snake skin look and yeah, they changed from green to purple. Child, please. That look. And make sure you tell me which one of these Instagram looks did you like. And did you see my Instagram look? Okay, so the next one is this one right here. I love the, uh, I got these pair of white shorts. I think I got them shorts from Target or Walmart. One or the other. They, um... They not, you know, they ain't coochie huggers or booty like it or, 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 you know, the ones that show just a little crack of your booty. No, ain't going to be another one. Grandma can't wear that even if I could, even if I had the body for it. Everybody got an age and a time. They need to wear something like booty shorts, right? You need a, a time. Now, if I was walking around my house with my man, oh, yes, everything would be up that crack, honey. Yes, ain't nothing sexier than that walking around looking sexy for your man, but not for everybody else. Um, but no, they are perfect. They not small, they not long, looking like I'm trying not to have on shorts. I, I like a time and a place for that too, when the shorts are a little longer, depending on the look. So I paired it with the Zara uh, bodysuit. And what I want to show you is this beautiful, y'all know I'm blazer crazy. You know I'm blazer crazy. Look at this beautiful multicolored blazer. And even the buttons have different colors. And it is just beautiful. This is also a vintage blazer jacket. It's cropped. Look at that pink on the inside. And it's got every beautiful color you can think of for spring. Everyone. And it even threw some fall in there too. This is an all year, all the time blazer jacket. And it's by Anna's Fashions. And um, let me see. Let me see where the, I guess I could tell you at least where. Oh, this one. You know what? The information might be in the dress for this one. And I just threw that dress deep in the closet. Like, deep. Um, But, and I bought this blazer. By, it's by Revolving Treasures. And you see here the name of who I got it from. Another online uh vintage and and some of them sell vintage and modern so it ain't all vintage and i have it on with my purple uh mules i got from amazon look at this so nice so beautiful some people not into all those colors i love it i love it so that's that second look and then this third one, which I really love, guys. I really like this look. I got, I thrifted this uh, blazer jacket from a consignment store. And it's from Isabella DeMarco. Um, but look at this. Look at this. It's got, look at the buttons. 
the bucket the buttons are green and white and it's cropped and it has faux pockets with the buttons as well and it's this beautiful beautiful green that is everything right now whether it's the dark green the light green any green is beautiful right now um and i just love that look and i paired it with a striped green and white uh men's button down uh actually it's not a men's button down it is a one it's a woman's, but it's like a 1X or a 2X. So I got it in a large size so that I could tie it up. And I wore it with those uh, sandals that I got from. I got those sandals from Amazon too. Look, dupes for everything. Find it on Amazon. Find it on Amazon. And they go up the leg and they real um, pointed. And then they tie up the leg, and I have that going up into the jeans. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. Grandma says, yes, honey. Let me style that for you. Let me show you. Um, And then my next look is, wait, why, why I got these jeans? I thought I had a look that had, oh yeah, okay, okay. So my next look um, is this right here, and it's a thrifted blazer and a thrifted denim skirt, and I will wear a short skirt. I ain't got no problem with it. So let me let you see the blazer. So I got a few things to show you on this one. Shoulder pads, the beautiful, beautiful green, but different. The jacket is longer. Uh, it is a true blazer. And it is by Worthington. Um, so it is definitely vintage. And beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful green color. And I paired it with my, um, my bodysuit I got from Shein, that stripy green bodysuit, and you've seen that plenty of times if you've been watching me. Um, I love getting something at a at a, a very low price, but you get extra money worth out of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're supposed to get extra money worth out of your items. That means you're supposed to have you supposed to wear it more than it's worth. Okay, so when you can get it like that it's even better and i paired it with my um cc brooch it's got the green in there you see the green but all the other gems too so it looks so nice next to the um next to the blazer and the pinstripe uh bodysuit it just brung it all together so and i wore that with to make it casual, because I have the blazer on, I wore it with my, if you've been on my channel enough, you know, I'm converse crazy, especially these kind. I don't know what they're called. I just get them when I like them. Um, and it's the, the converse all-star, uh, I think they the platform high top. I don't know, honey. But they jean. And these were a limited edition. So if you didn't get it, <laughs> you didn't get it jean and i love pairing it with jean skirts i never pair, pair it with jeans themselves because i don't like to cover the shoe up so i wear it with jean skirts maybe some shorts or a dress absolutely love these but you can't find them now they were limited edition all right and my next final look is this amazon the drop hollow lux had a amazon drop you know if you follow your influencers and you like their style you try to see because you know amazon made it don't matter they had an input in it but honey it's 100 amazon done so you want to go ahead and support her, you know and she's a black woman so of course i'm gonna whether it's you know what i'm gonna say um any woman i support those who you know it doesn't matter to me about the nationality but we we definitely do have to make sure we support 
our own. And that's just the way it is. And anybody should say that. Uh, but also, she's a woman. There you go. Check mark. And that, and I like her style. And you know, I'm any anybody that influence because anybody that to me is so many people that influence that don't call themselves influencers. Okay, just that you call yourself an influencer because you want to. That's your profession, and you want to get paid for that. But some people been influencing all their life you know i've had plenty of women tell me they like my style and they like uh you know what i wear and how i wear it so i influence them if you ever went out and you like my style and you wanted to buy something that you saw that i wore or you liked the way it looked on me that's an influence i influenced you so i don't necessarily say i that is far from worshiping and stalking and and i can't i gotta i only can live through that person that is a totally different thing to me so i like her style i like some of the stuff that she wear and so i when she did her amazon drop i wanted to contribute so i wore this and it is a what's so funny about this outfit is this is a wrap dress it wraps around but I wanted to do something different to it. So instead of wrapping it around, I wore it like a half dress, half, um, what do they call it? Um, it's not kimono. How did I forget this already? Now it's bothering me. Hold on. Cause I'm forever writing down ideas. So I know I done wrote it down somewhere. Uh, what is this called? Let me see. It is not a kimono and it's not a shirt. Cause you know, you can wear a dress and you can open it up and you can make it this hot. What in the world? But anyway, I'm gonna sit here all day trying to figure it out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll put it right here. So you can wear it. I want to wear it like that. And my hat is from Lack of Colorists and um or you call it lack of color um uh, so i love fedoras and i thought that was so nice together and i wore it with these jeans i have a thing about the jeans with the knee i just am in love with it right now and i don't care if it goes in style out of style and people say you oh you wearing holy jeans you know i don't care what they say i'm still wear it so I got these from H&M in the men's section. In the men's section. Don't skip on the men's section. I love the way they jeans and their pants fit. It fit us better. It really does. If you not, men's jeans and pants fit those who are not overly curvy. And what I mean is you ain't got the booty or the thighs and you're not overly curvy, you can wear men's jeans because it it gives you that boyfriend look that they try to make for us women, the boyfriend look. But all you got to do is wear your boyfriend jeans. That's all it is. So it gives you the boyfriend look. So this right here, I just love this. I feel relaxed. I feel sexy. I feel really good in this outfit. I look skinny, honey, everything. Yes, but it's 100% me. No filter, no nothing. That's the one thing I can tell you. The only thing you will see that I would do on my pictures is brighten it up. Uh, so that, because sometimes it'd be a little dark and I will brighten it and put that type of filter on it. But I did not know until I saw YouTubers show how they do their Instagram pictures that you can change everything. Make your waist smaller, make pimples go away, make, make, uh, your whole face look like you did your makeup. Everything. I was shocked. I don't know nothing about all that. I can't do all that because I don't look. It is what it is. So when you see me in person, you're not gonna be too too shocked. You be like, oh yeah, that's her. Mm-hmm. No. But anyway, 
Um, so guys, so I just wanted to make sure because I didn't come up here last weekend or maybe even the two weekends for my third video. And I wanted to make sure I came up here and gave you something. So I hope you enjoyed me uh, going back over my uh, Instagram story looks because you know they come and they go. So make sure that you follow me and see some of the looks that this grandma put together. It may give you an idea. It may shock you. It may... I don't know. It might even offend you. I don't know. But don't forget, no matter where you are in your transformation, my beautiful butterfly, you're still beautiful to me. Bye, guys. See you next time.